you, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. Whenever I run into bouts of unemployment, I start dwelling on this, this one, perhaps, obsession of mine. And it's a kind of obsession that's eluded me for a while, and it's probably eluded to you as well. I'm talking about this, this ideology, this concept, this theory, some would even call it a myth, called retirement. Mm -hmm. Now when we start working, we don't really think of retirement at all, because it's so far away. There's no conceivable way that we can even fathom. Why worry about retirement? It's way over there. It's way over there. But what is it? What is it? How do we get there? What does it mean exactly? What does it mean? It's a kind of a, a theory. I have three favorite times of the year. One is Christmas. One is my birthday, of course. And my third is RSP season. January and February of the year because we get to see some really neat commercials on TV telling us how we should put money away for ourselves for retirement. There's one that I like really the best and this one is showing the middle-aged couple uh, nicely dressed, they look fit, trim, healthy and they're enjoying their retirement time in a park. The one that I really like is the one where you see a similar couple on a sailboat. Somewhere's in a warm climate in the South Seas. Sailing, presumably on their own sailboat. <laughs> That's my favorite one. And a distance view, like the waves. So I thought again, retirement, what exactly is it? What exactly is it? Well, you know, what if? Now what if? Well, I like reading the newspapers. Now if I retired, I'd have more time to read newspapers. And you know, there's a Rona around the corner from my place that has a free stack of the Herald newspapers every day for the table. <laughs> I could go there every morning, pick one up, and I can read. And you know, i got to read it sometimes. Where would I read it? Well, on the way there, there's a Jeremy Horton's coffee place. And I can go in there, and for a buck fifty, I could buy a refuge for maybe three hours to read that paper cover. And you know, I have seen, I have seen a few seniors there as well. Thought, you know, if I ever finish the paper early, I can sit down, talk with them, and say, why do you think they painted that wall that color? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they already know. <laughs> what about food? Well, I understand that Costco, they have these kiosks of sample foods that you can go around and pick and take Yeah, they're sparrow portions, so you have to go around two or three times. <laughs> I have to wear an invertible jacket and sunglasses so that I don't get any of those employees into trouble. Because, you know, I wouldn't want to be in a way of their hard-earned retirement. Of course. And you know, here in summer in Calgary, we have this thing called the Stampede for 10 days. And all throughout the city, there's free breakfast. You can go and eat to your heart's content. Now there, they don't mind if you take seconds, you know. It'll help me build up some fat for the winter, all those pancakes and butter and sausages. And all those sparrow portions from Costco just can't cut it. And you know, yeah, it does get a little cold here in winter, but we get these schnooks, so that's when I can go out and do my errands. I wouldn't really need that much heavy clothing at that time, you know, so, so that's kind of good. And, you know, if things get really, really bad and desperate, you know, there's a place downtown, a soup kitchen, what's it called? Oh, yeah, the mustard seed. Mm -hmm. Gee, the mustard seed. I better rethink this again. You see, retirement today is a little different. It's a little different. When my father retired, and your father, one generation before, it was very common for a person to have one job for 30 to 40 years. One job. And when you were coming up for retirement, you retired when you wanted to retire, when it was good for you. They said, you know, Terry, don't rush. Take your time. Decide if you want to retire this year or next year. Take it easy, you know, take your time. Yeah. You can do it at your own pace. You could do it at your own pace. Back then, they had a, a neat thing for retirement that was called defined benefits. Defined benefits. That means that when you retire, you know exactly what you're going to be getting in your, your bank account every two weeks or monthly for a pension until you die. Defined benefit. The benefits are defined. In fact, even your insurance, 
Your medical is all covered till the day you die. Well, today, only one generation further ahead, things are a bit different. We're becoming the knowledge society. But you know what? All of a sudden, they don't know what your benefit's going to be. All they know now is what your contribution's going to be. <laughs> things turned into defined contribution. So as you work, paycheck by paycheck, you put away a little bit of money. And you do have a little bit of say into where it goes into funds that you can invest in pools so that they grow, so that when you retire, you have a nest egg. Well, you know, that, that works out quite well, but if it wasn't to our, uh, for our neighbors to the south that came up with that uh, U.S. financial, oh, sorry, I mean world financial <laughs> crisis, uh, those few bumps would have, uh, would have not hurt our savings as much as they have. So that's happened. I've sort of been able to take my view of Freedom 55 and turn it into Freedom 75. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting concept. Maybe it's a myth now more than ever. So my favorite thing now of that, of that couple in the front standing is that, you know, I used to think, I used to think that those people, that couple on that sailboat or in that park represented you and me. But it was only a few years ago that the light came on and I realized, not quite. That couple represents uh, the fund managers that we invest in. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs>